All right, I saw that uh, Komodo Simulations have got pre-orders up for patches. So this is an update on my Komodo Collective. This is on maximum friction, which is not what you want a collective to do. Uh, I've sent an email to Komodo, but they've never responded to me because he promised me because of the massive delay that I had several years ago when I got this, that uh, he would send me a free production um, KA50 handle, but he never did. All right, communication from him was appalling. You know, um, when I got the collective, I was quite happy, but I'm gonna show you. I have a picture actually, because I took it apart to find out if I could fix this problem easily. And uh, the simple answer is not really. I can take it apart, I think maybe, and I'll add a picture into the video explaining what I, what's going on. But given what's going on at Komodo right now, and uh, lack of communication with myself about this problem, and the fact that he's taking pre-orders, I thought I'd show you what it looks like on the inside, just so that you are aware of what you are getting. All right. Um... While I'm at it, oh, light's a bit bad, but here you can see that I just upgraded my MFGs uh, with the um, steering damper that uh, they have in their kit. Uh, the kit's about $50. I can't remember how much I paid for shipping, but it wasn't that bad to the US. The... Um, uh, actually, I was in an A320 simulator uh, not very long ago. It's been a long time since I've been in a real sim. And uh, it was funny because when I first got in, uh, I, I forgot how heavy real simulator bloody rudder pedals are because I'd just been, you know, using this system for so long. So these, uh, this steering damper does do a pretty good job, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, so my MFGs, I know a few people have had problems. I do make sure that I keep the, the, nut, the nuts and bolts tight because they do have a habit of coming loose. I guess actually, if I blim in, uh, put some blue Loctite on them all, I'll probably never have to do it again. But I haven't had any problems with mine. Um, they, they've worked really well and I've had them now for, I don't know, this is, I think, this is when they're, this is like version one with a different color. You know, so they're not that classic white colour that they had. I wanted something a bit subtler underneath my desk. Anyway, steering ramp works pretty well. It does make them a lot heavier because I, I mean, you, obviously you can just set the amount of pressure you want. So, you know, I haven't flown with them that much since I got it, but yeah, it seems they do seem it does seem like a significant upgrade. So if I was buying them again, I would definitely buy them with that uh, steering damper on there now, and there's a video online if you're interested in seeing how it's installed i haven't got it with it in the center position and i did flip it upside down anyway um that's that for this part of the video and i will put uh, a picture up with a few more comments at the end of the komodo okay so what we're looking at here is the underneath the komodo looking basically from the bottom through the top the handle sticks out the right hand side uh, you can see obviously there's lots of wires going in for all the different switches and the pcb and a small zip and my problem as you've seen in the video is that my cl uh, the clutch mechanism does not hold anymore and when you look underneath here you can see the lower bit with the bolt that faces towards us is the clamping mechanism and basically over probably the last three years it's worn out inside and is no longer holding the clutch as you can see it's a 3d printed part um i've talked to my buddy who does do some a lot of 3d printing i mean i could 3d print a part but when you're paying what are you paying now about i don't know twelve hundred dollars for a collective now you know i do not expect a mechanism like this that is going to fade i mean it's kind of built in obsolescence right that mechanism is going to fade over time 
you know so obviously while at the beginning on my first video you know um, I recommended the collective I didn't know at the time that this was what like inside and honestly that's something on me I should have opened up the thing and had a look and seen how that mechanism worked but over time it's faded out you know as you can see the handle won't stay up anymore so it makes the collective kind of useless and I've had terrible communication with Komodo simulation he's ignored every single amount of my emails for the last year so there you go um, uh, I mean that mechanism well if you want to pay that much money for it that's up to you myself I'm gonna go and look at a verbal uh, collective at this stage as my replacement for this one anyway I hope you found this useful all right bye